Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I hope you're doing blessed and highly favored. Definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs and my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. As always, it's truly appreciated. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just really give you a good vibe or an uplift that you truly needed into your life you know give a thumbs up and share i'll be greatly appreciated anybody with nefarious negative video ne negative vibes or any kind of low level frequency that you're trying to do something distort distract delay i'm trying to bring something down and, and, and it's not for productive way and positive love and light that you're doing everything gonna go right back to you 10 times long the video i'm about to do today it's called Twin Flame 101. The escape goat flipped into the goat real quick. You know, if you're that one that was always, it was like, oh, you're always the negative one. Or you're the one that's always getting stuff started or whatever. It gets to that point where when you know you're the black sheep of the family, you always can read the lines in between the BS that's taking place into life. And, you know, a lot of times we had to go through, you know, rocky times. We had to go through times where, you know, we really just didn't care about anything that we did, you know, or always the fallback guy or we just were not really, you know, in that positive vibration. It took something very dramatic, tragic, traumatic, whatever. <laughs> you know, went into your life to really shut the shoot out of you. You know, so it, it'll be through those different situations that really took place that um, it was that time for you to really know who you truly were. You know, it's just like we're God's under amnesia, which which truly is. It'll be at that point where you'll see the different rights and wrongs, different things that's taking place onto your to your path of what we need to change. You like change focus, let go of anyone and anything that no longer serves you. Appreciate anything that's leaving in and out of your life. It taught you some kind of situation, not seeing things in a negative sense, in a positive sense, but all about different things that's gonna take you up to that next level. You know, then you're starting to you know sit back and you're starting to see different things because you know we sleep. You know, now a lot of times it's like when I look at different things that takes place in my life, I see where a lot of things where I was just a straight narcoleptic toward everything in my life. I was straight sleep. Now it's just like when I'm seeing different things in my life where I'm seeing people that, um, that are very high vibrational and very loving and stuff like that. They're encouraging you and doing different things or they're, you know, or they're showing you different information that may, you know, just click with you automatically. Like, wow, you know, all of a sudden, you know, be different things that you can, you know, you bump into somebody at the store or, you know, it's like a lot of times when I'm, you know, I find a lot of conversations that I have when I'm over there by the sage and the incense and stuff like that. It's like, oh, you know, these different vibrations, like, wow, you're on the same thing too. And it'll be different people that I'll end up talking about, you know, the stuff that I, you know, the stuff that I, I've been seeing a lot of, you know, a lot of things is being really projected out into the world, especially like if you see a lot of the movies and stuff is coming out, you know, it's starting to show you about different things we're going through, you know, the Matrix, you know, a lot of the movies with, uh, um, I know I love horror movies, so a lot of the different things that I watched, they really, you know, shook me to the core, like Vatican tapes, the devil inside, pray for the devil, uh, you know, different things like that, um, that really speaks to you about different things that's taking place into the world, um, what it matrix to, you know, all these different things, you're, you're st starting to walk out of the loop. You know, we've probably been in loops for a long time. You know, if you're in that vibration where you, you could have been narcissistic and didn't even know it. Like me, I, I was narcissistic. I got exposed to a lot of different uh, things where I wasn't narcissistic. I said, I you know, I, I didn't really think I was when it came to that. I know I had narcissistic traits. And those are the different things that really shook me. Like, oh, my God, you know, I was very toxic with my kids. I was toxic with my own self. You know, I was really in these different things where I truly project, project, project. And now it's at that point where I had to really, you know, it really made me feel some type of way about myself to where it's like you can't be that way about yourself. Even if you could, it just depends on what kind of stuff you've been putting off. Now, it'd be different. But um, it'll be at that time where even if you did do certain things, it's never too late to change. And when you're allowing yourself to do those different things where you can say I was toxic towards myself, I was very, you know, um, 
negative. I was very low vibrational. These are the different things I projected. I projected. You know, I cut on every. You know, I bled on everybody. Didn't even cut me. Those are the different things. But then it came to myself. Let me be responsible for my own decisions. Let me get re be responsible for my own uh, actions. The different ways that I did different things. You know, the way I see things. You know, am I seeing things? from a vi higher vibration am I seeing a big perspective about those different things and when you're doing that because you know a lot of us are being picked to be in a family full of toxic people you're being picked to that person like you're the only one that is allowing yourself to change and then you're being put down because you're changing you have people lashing out on you anytime that you're doing things it's like your change is going to trigger a lot of people when you're allowing yourself to be real, it's going to really distort the people and trigger people that choose to be fake. When you speak your truth, it's going to irritate people in their lives of projection. And these are the different things where it's always going to have, uh, you know, a, a negative and a positive to it. But it's just a point on you staying coarse and being the neutral. You know, okay, if you choose to be that way, you know, I can't force you to change. Your, your job is not making people heal. You know, you can be able to drop that seed of truth. And allow them to be able to do it. You can't make somebody plant that, fertilize that, feed it, talk to it or whatever. A lot of people are okay being in that vibration of narcissism. A lot of people are okay being in that line of darkness. People are okay being in that vibration of not just wanting to not change because that's what gets them you know, attention. That's what gets them to the people. They'd rather stay around people that are enabling. You know, and it's just be that point that you may be under that. I know I was like that too where I had enablers. You know, I've been around stuff like that. But then it was just like it's not going to get me anywhere. If I want to be able to make better in my life, I have to make better choices. For me to be able to do that, I have to be able to call myself out on my own BS that I was doing. You know, because I was always that scapegoat. It was always something that was going on in my life. And then it was just like when I stepped truth, when my traumatic situation happened to me seven years ago, well, it's going on seven years ago in April, it'd be seven years. You know, um, it, it triggered a lot of different things that people didn't want me to do. You know, try to dumb me down or they try to make me place doubt into my life or, you know, make me see things in distorted ways when I allowed myself to see the truth. I don't care what anybody says. I'm going to see that truth and I'm going to keep on speaking it. And when you do that, you become the goat you're the greatest of all time they don't know it's just the people that you've been picked you've been that chosen one to be able to break generational curses it prepared you for you being that goat and a lot of people are not going to like that about you because you allowed yourself to go through that change no matter how hard it is you know and when you're doing that you're starting to allow yourself like hey this is what's going on because there'll be a lot of different times where i can sit back and I see a lot of things that I didn't allow myself to do. And I was just like, that. I spoke low on myself. I said, you are so stupid. Why did you allow yourself to, you know, you didn't see those things. And it's like, no, it's not about you being stupid. But a lot of times when you have a kind heart, a lot of people will take advantage of that. You know, it's like a lot of times you have empath people think it's idiot. <laughs> it's short term for idiot. So they'll allow themselves to man manipulate all those different type of things that's taking place into your life or taking place in their life. And they will be able to use that to their advantage. And when you're doing that, especially if you're an empathic person, you'll notice that you will gravitate more towards people that manipulate um, they, they talk down to you. They could be abusive in many terms, you know, in any kind of way. Um, and those are the different things that will wake you up and say, look, we, we needed you to go through this experience. Now it's time for you to flip that script, not just on the, th on the people that you're going around, but within yourself. And when you do that, it's going to try to, you know, really create a chain of events that's really going to make you like, what the hell? Who is this person? You know, we don't know this person. They know the old you. They're used to being your old you. Because there will be different times people will play on that, 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 that vibration of the old you. And when you got to that point where you're like, oh, okay, that person's projecting or, oh, okay, this person is, you know, want to pull the guilt trip on me. They want to be able to play victim or, you know, di different things like this. You'll start seeing what's going on because you don't, you know, you don't got the memo. Okay. And you allowed yourself to do that. But you are also know when you're becoming the goat, you're going to create a lot of enemies within that because people don't like when change takes place. A lot of times I don't even like when change takes place because that mess is different. You know, because we already knew starting from the pandemic, that was all what was starting. We had to go through a lot of hellish situations. We were losing loved ones left and right. Things where, where money was becoming an issue. 
you know, things don't went into recession, you know, now all the stuff is inflation, everything is going high, except the god on pay rate, pay, pay rate, I can go into Walmart, everything, I ain't never seen, you know, a full pack of chicken, now this mess is almost on near $20, I ask people, hey, I ain't trying to get in your business, but since they raising everything, did they raise y'all pay, because, uh, <laughs> What is this for? Because this is not for the people that are working here. They don't want to raise your pay, but they want to raise the food prices. And they be like, you know what you're speaking true. And I was always trying to understand that. You want to raise the pay on different these different places where you buy groceries at. Now, I can understand, you know, other people but um, that are not working here. But the people that are, are working here, why don't you raise their pay rate? Since you don't sit up here and did that. Because it's like, basically, it's all for these, these people that are buying it. You know, the the companies that you're getting this from but there's also people that are not can, cannot afford all these different things like that everybody can't get on food stamps not everybody is blessed and being the riches like everybody else or certain people and you know and in, in different you know households and stuff like that there's so many different things that's taking place where we're speaking our truth and a lot of people don't like that you know and they don't have to be just our family members and stuff like that but you within yourself when you start getting in together, it's like things have to change. Things have to be on the better. Because it was just like when we have gone through a vibration for so long. And we've been on a you know a vibration for so long. And then we had to be able to change that up. That was very difficult for a lot of us. You know, many of us. Especially if you've been on a vibration. You've done things a certain way for so long. And then you had to be able to flip the script. Like when I first started, like I told people, I was heavy on being a functional weed head. I used to always do that because it was a lot of different things that I wasn't used to getting towards that higher self on me except getting by getting high but I'm opening up that part of myself has always been there. It just needed, you know, Bob Marley to sit up here and help me get to it. Then it got to that point where when it when it came to that point where it was taking more consumption just for me to feel that vibration and it would leave that minute. You know, they always say that's a gateway to start bringing in different drugs and for me to do that you know I was you know I was smoking a lot you know it went from you know being a regular grade of weed till it got to that mid and then it got to that loud and it got to that damn near screaming your ass off type stuff and that had to be at that point where I stopped you know and people always it'll be different people that ask you know Roz you know when is it time for you to stop smoking weed the day you ask that question? Because when you start knowing you losing more money by sitting up here trying to consume some stuff and you got to add stuff to it. Nowadays, you can't sit up here and smoke weed like you used to because now everybody's starting to add fentanyl and stuff to that. That mess is getting deadly. And you already know just for you being in the same room as that stuff, people are dropping like flies left and right where, you know, Narcan, the Narcan company is going up. They making money off of us because there's a lot of different things people are consuming off of that. I lost my father off of fentanyl. So it's just like so many different things that I'm seeing that is becoming more dangerous within the world. So it's just like when you get to that point where you know you're spending more money, you notice that you're sitting up here, where if it gets to that point where you're trying to use that to be able to get through day by day, now it's different. Hey, everybody float your boat you know i don't judge anybody for that but i'm just you know trying to you know get you hip to the program if it gets to that point where you know you're just you know if it has to get you to you know focus on what you need to heal from yes we all know healing from a lot of different things is not going to be an easy task to do but with me I had to be able to give myself a thumbs up because there's a lot of things that I'm going through right now that it, it, it wouldn't have been surprising if I went back to smoking cigarettes, I went back to drinking, I went back to opiates, or I went back to smoking weed, but I did none of the sorts. You know, I've had an accident, well not an accident, I'll fall back on, I'm going to put it that way, I'm going to keep it real fall back on smoking a, you know smoking a cigarette every once in a while but I haven't did that in months and months and when I finally did it was like I had to take me a shower I had to wash out my nose you know wash my hair because I didn't like the smell of it you know wash my clothes that I had on because I didn't want that smell in my in my room it, it was just like I didn't like it and that let me know when I had to go through all that I know I was never going to pick up a cigarette again you know and being that way and it was just like I was proud of myself because it was so many different things that I was going through and it was like you know look at the, the good into it you're allowing yourself to heal and healing is you're already allowing yourself to know a healing is not easy you don't want to tell yourself a hey, healing is hard 
you know, healing is going to take forever. And when you're putting that in your mindset, it will drag you out from, you know, wanting to actually allow yourself to get towards that truth, get towards that, that healing, you know, get towards that, that, that change into your life. It can be really hard. It's always about the words you use when it adapts to different things that, you know, you have visually got to change. You know, a lot of times you will see different things in people's lives or where they'll purposely put somebody in your life that shows you this is what happened when this person changed all this and this and that. You see how much good came into your life. But also they'll show you how many people that refuse to. You'll see all the other things that happen in their life that's not that good. And they'll show you which team do you want to be on. You want to be on that person that does better, speaks better, you know, moves better in that way. You don't want to be that person that's always lacking something or you always have to be that person that's just, you know, is not going in a, in a good way because of those different things they refuse to do. You know, you are the GOAT. You're going to be the greatest of all time because you were that one that always felt like it was going to be the F up. You probably was that person like, oh, that person ain't going to be that one. They're always the F up. They're always the laid back person. Don't want to do this, do that. And you'll be the one. You ain't doing this for them. You're doing this for yourself. Because you already know it's always going to be a problem when you allow yourself to step up to the game. Oh, I'm going to be that one that's going to speak in truth. I'm going to be in that one that's not going, oh, you want to speak of me negative? Even they'll probably end up speaking on you negative anyway when you're still doing that change. It's going to be okay because they always felt jealous of you anyway. There was always a part, of, you know, there was always that person where they always spoke down to you. I was that person. You know, I was always that person. I'm like, why is everybody, you speak so speak so highly about, and when it comes to me, I'm always that person that you always make it feel like I'm a chump or I'm a this, I'm a that. It was nothing good attached to my name, you know, and it got to that point where there was always something good about you. They just didn't like it. They always try to make point the bad out of you because that's what they felt about you in the first place where it was actually about themselves, but they put that on you. And they wanted everybody else to feel that way about you, but it was all about how you felt about you, you know. Now eventually makes you to go. You're doing those different things because you may have seen yourself of not being able to see. I've actually changed. The different things I see, I was that one that gave me my setbacks. Ain't nobody could do that. Even with, you know, the different things that I go through that I know my enemies put in place. I, they can't do nothing. I won't allow myself to put in that, in that place of mine. So no matter what they do, you know. It's up to me to be able to do that. But it will be those different things that people do in envious ways, you know, about my situation. If you already know, I didn't start that, but I'm going to finish that. And it's just that point when you know people are coming out their way to try to knock you out of existence. God's going to always protect you if they know that you're meant for something different. Or you're meant for something deeper. Or you're meant for something greater. You're going through those things. But those challenges are taking place for you to challenge yourself. To be able to know you can make better within yourself. It's, but, but it's up to you to be able to do that. Now I can't make you do that. Well, yeah, God and the universe can make you do that. But you don't want them to make you do that. You know, it'll be different things where I've had different things pop off in my life. And I would see the caution signs like, you need to change. You need to let go of this. You need to let go of that person. You need to change your gears. You need to change your ways. You know, it'll be different things like that. Because it was just like, I, I was going through so much in my life. And it was like, for me to go through that universe is like well we already know how you get down we're gonna allow you to go ahead and smoke this weed before we <laughs> we'll let you get on to your truth and we hold you on to that truth we're gonna make sure that you smoke this weed for a little bit and then when it gets to that point where we see you know you can make it on your own you know we're gonna wing you off of that and you know how we gonna wing you off of that it ain't gonna be able to hit you the same it ain't gonna be able to stimulate you like that you're gonna be able to do this without that you know, and I don't like I tell people real quick, I don't judge anybody who chooses to do that. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do to each his own. I just can't do it. You know, I don't I don't judge anybody for those different things. But I know a lot of times people are like, Ron, how did you do it? You know, and I just told him it was just like I, when I was going through, you know, you know, if you're a weed smoker and stuff like that, you know, you got different grades. You know, you got the Reggie. It ain't about nothing. You got that mid. You got that loud. And you got that one that's just out there. It'll have you up on 12 different planets at one day on time. You know, and it was like that. And I was running through it like clockwork. And, you know, I go through a hundred dollars worth within like two or three days. That's not something I need to be doing now. You know, <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. It'd be a hundred dollars every two weeks or, you know, almost a month. That, that's a different story. But if I'm going through that in a couple of days, is I need to stop because it's just like a lot of times when people do that as a gateway of doing something that you know it can be a lot harder you know and it's just like now you know 
you know, you always hear now people are lacing that with fentanyl and stuff like that. You don't want those things in your life. But it's just all about the change in your life. You know you want better into your life. You've seen different things where universe is giving you these different downloads. Your life can be greater. You know, I can put this into your life. I need that for your life. But I'm going to need you to let go of these certain people. I'm going to need you to let go of this different mindset. Or I'm going to need you to let go of stop talking down to yourself like this. I'm going to need you to let go of this on being in this vibration. I need you to flip the script on that. I need you to see greater into your life and when you're doing that you're creating more into your life and you're seeing exactly what you can do and it's just like now all of a sudden <laughs> when you're doing these different things you'll notice that stuff that you might have thought or you might have been told these are mental issues these are mental labels you can't be able to speak like this you can't move like that because these are different things that may seem like people will think it's crazy and you come to find out these are spiritual gifts you had all along you know, you can feed into energy that's around you. A lot of times we can mirror. We mirror a lot of different things that people show us about themselves. We show it to them. This is what you're doing. You're projecting this. We're all, everybody's a mirror to everybody. You know, and you're learning all these different things. And it's like when you're doing that, you're allowing that change to take place into your life. Transition is being an all-time high right now <laughs> is when you're doing that, especially if you know you want better into your life. You know, you're doing these things and you're allowing yourself to be transparent at it. That's all where it starts at for you being honest with yourself. You know, we can lie to everybody all day. But when we're lying to other people all day, we're eventually we're going to see that we're lying to ourselves. There'll be different things where you know there are certain things you just can't tell everybody. You know, that's, that's, that's common sense right there. Because everybody don't want to see the good come out of you. But there'll be different things where you'll notice those hiccups that you have in your life that it became that setback and learn for you to be able to this is preparing you for a powerful comeback you had to go through these setbacks you had to go through these failures you had to go through these delays you know mishaps and all these different things or even they'll set you on a path to be able to go somewhere and learn something and even though you tried it and you were like well this is not my thing but you learned about 10 other different things on that that was all about that path to be able to learn more about yourself that wasn't yet uncovered yet unknowledged you didn't acknowledge that yet. So it was part of yourself that needs to be learned. So it's just like different things about myself. It's just like, you know, if I allow somebody I went to school with, and I, I've had a lot of people like, girl, what happened? <laughs> I said, tragedies, you know, uh, a death of a loved one that I never knew was there. These are the different things that follow about that because it's like with me, I always used to be in fights. I used to always be that one to be brutal with a lot of people didn't care. I didn't care who I hurt. You know, I always used to do different things like that. It was like, hey, even if I was honest, it could have been hurt to my feelings. But I'm like, well, honesty is what happened. But it wasn't about me not using mindfulness, not being discerning about that. You don't know how that may, made that person feel with you saying these different things. It's different about you can be able to tell the truth to speak the truth on something but you have to be discerning on how you want that out do you want somebody else treating you that way you know or you want somebody speaking to you that way and it had to be that type of person to be able to go through change but also being able to understand you for you changing like that you're going to create a lot of enemies there are going to be a lot of people they're going to do a lot of different things that steer you off your path but that's what they're meant for you know, and it's going to be able to be that. Are you going to allow these different things that these people are doing to steer you off your path? Or are you going to allow that to be, oh, okay, I see what you're doing. What, what are you going to pay attention to? Are you staying, paying attention to what they're doing? Nah, be allowing myself to stay on what's important to my life. This is creating a goat for you. You became the greatest of all time because you'll know what's important and what's not. Who's important and who's not. You know, and being able to say, okay. This is that time where, you know, even when you know, even there's people in your lives that's only supposed to be there for a reason or for a season, expectation or a lifetime, you know, and those are the different things that's taking place into your life where, you know, intense changes are taking place and you're rolling with the punches and you're okay with that. And a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to part ways with a lot of people or part ways from a certain path, especially if that's something you've been used to for a long time. But you have to understand there's a lot of things that's only supposed to be temporary. You know, everything has an expiration date to it, you know, and some of them don't, you know. But these are the different things that's taking place into your life where you may have been that one where everybody, you know, throws everything on you like you are always constantly the scapegoat. Oh, it's always something wrong with him or it's always something wrong with her, you know. And it'll be something like that when people don't like the realness about you. There'll be certain things that you can be able to do, you know, it'll be different people that even try to mimic you. 
you know, you be those different things like that. You probably had people do that. I only had that a couple of times. It was like single white female, single black female, even guys that act like me. And that was very weird for me, <laughs> you know. And I was just like, why, why be yourself? You know, why do you? Do, how are you able to talk to people? Be myself. You know, a lot of times people got to do the most strenuous things to be able to get noticed by different people when you can just walk in the room and be you and they try to wonder how do you do that. And it's just something that natural that comes to you. You're very addictive. You're very, you know, uh, charismatic. And a lot of times that, that gravitates towards a lot of different things. But, you know, with you being who you are and, you know, being that, you know, that empath, you, it'll be a lot of different things that will gravitate for you. Positive, narcissistic, very dangerous, and very projective people, and enemies that, you know, project as, you know, being something else. But all these different things is creating you to be the GOAT. So, you know, you're going to be able to be at that point in your life, you know, where you're going to see, you're going to look back at all the different things you went through and really appreciate everything that has taken place into your life, whether it was good, the bad, and the ugly. Because it all created something for you to be able to be that infinite change within your life. Like, you never get comfortable with being that person. Even when you have everything in the world that you want, it's something that's always hungering you to be able to add more to that. And it's all about prosperity into your life. It don't, it don't have to be in a monetary value, but you becoming more wiser. You being more knowledgeable. You're being able to project that on other people. And this is the path that I went on. You know, I had major setbacks. You know, that's why I have no problem with telling people, you know, I went through this. I went through that. You know, I tell people I used to be, you know, addicted to opiates. I used to smoke weed a lot. I used to drink. You know, I used to be that person that, you know, drink and, you know, take opiates. I used to abuse my medicine and stuff like that. I used to write bounce checks. I used to, you know, dance, be an exotic dancer for a while, you know, um, doing all these different things because it's like, this is not a part of my life anymore. This made me a better person. There's nothing for me to be ashamed of because everybody has a past. We all have done things that we're not proud of. But if you allow these different things to not hold you back, don't never be ashamed of them, you know, because there's nobody out here in this life that's perfect. Anybody who always tried to do things I know what matters to me. I don't have to worry about what other people say about me in the world because I know what I do. If this is not what I do, I don't have to worry about what people are saying about me because I know what's true. They know what's true. But what I matter, you know, what matters to me is what matters to me. I validate myself. I don't allow other people to validate me. And I always tell people that, you know, we all, there's sometimes, you know, I was even a people pleaser. You know, I would see different things where I worried about if people believed me or if I worried about what people thought of me. And it's just like, if we go around the world, you know, worrying about, you know, trying to straighten up every lie that somebody said by underlining the truth, you're always worried about what somebody's out there saying about you. When you know you're not going out here doing different things like that, you already know. When you're on the straight and narrow, you're being good, you know, you're cr trying to create better. There's always going to be somebody saying, oh, they think they're better than somebody else or they think they're better than me or they're doing this. They think that, not you. If you know that's not your vibe, that's not your lingo, you don't have to worry about that. You're going to have to understand you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. There's going to be different people that are not going to understand you. There's going to be different people that's not going to like you, but there's going to be people that's going to admire you that's going to really have that much respect for you about the strength that you carry you know and they're going to be it's going to make them look at their life too you know and when you're allowing yourself to do that you know you, you don't know what kind of chain of events you're not just projecting for yourself but you're projecting for other people and these are those different things you know don't worry about what other people are saying about you you know they even talk about god you know <laughs> god they'll tell you that real quick they even talk about god like that but there will be different things that take place into your life there's you know creating change for the better for you but you already know when you're changing for the better and you're making something a big impact on the world it's never going to come to you easy there's always going to be a challenge in in there in there somewhere where it's just going to be able to do that but that's a purpose it always holds a purpose into your life to be able to strengthen whatever comes to you so whatever blessings that you come out of the matter of going through the hardship you know it's going to make you you know uh, really appreciate those different things that came into your life because you know what you had to go through to get those so you know allow yourself to know if you were you were just always being known as a scapegoat you were always going to end up being a goat so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of that video. You know, I always leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, being able to understand the deeper line of purpose for your life. Um, uh, and just be able to understand why certain things come in. I love to be able to help other people do that. So, um, for those different things that's taking place, 
um, I'll be able to help out where I can and you know whatever we speak on it will be highly confidential you know and I help out where I can and I'll also on my my channel I also have my uh, what is it my podcast different posts that I have whether it's uh, uh, informative you know different things that's taking place um, in the world where it's bringing different chains of events like right now everybody's going there's a lot of people that are going through dark night of the soul um, the Kundalini ascension that's taking place as well as uh, spiritual flus um, psychic flus and all those different things the way it can make it feel like you're going through the flu flu but it's just going through spiritual changes that it's en enhancing a lot of different things that you didn't know was about to take place so that's going on right now so uh what else did i do oh yeah i also put down empath memes you know different things that'll make you laugh to brighten up your day as well you know i try to be able to do that you can't be a hayoka without being a little hee hee and a lot of ha ha going in there we ain't always got to be serious but um doing that as well so whatever vibes that you're needing to get out there to keep on being persistent on your path a purpose whatever you're being led to do not give up on yourself you've got to take a, a you know a pause for the cause you do that but allow yourself to come back you know harder than you did when you fell back so you know you got to be persistent and consistent with the thing different things that's happening in your life you know you're a part of the major change that's taking place but it has to take place with us first before we take it on to the world so don't allow the devil or the enemy to be able to tell you about your potential as well as your life because both of them are fierce so you stay woke because they want you to stay asleep and keep on going being persistent and if you feel generous enough to drop a donation and you know into the video cash app is there as well so i hope you had a good turkey day then with your family and all those different things i hope you had a blessed weekend and all that all those good things please be safe and responsible even through social distancing make sure that you give out love and light and positivity words vibes frequencies those things can really take you a long way and as well as you, you're doing that just for people, just for a positive reason, it'll take you even further. So much love to you. God bless. Shalom. I say peace. Later.